In order to keep the circus at arm's length, Rich Brooks is not letting Will Fiddler or Morgan Newton talk to the media this week. He also may not name the starter against Auburn until the day of the game. As for their performance today in practice, Brooks said both quarterbacks played well and was pleased with how they threw the ball. The head cat is planning to sit down and talk with both quarterbacks about the job. Just talk about, you know, making sure we make good decisions and protect the football and, uh, and uh, that uh, we're going to do not only uh, what we feel is the best thing for us to win this football game, but to win enough games to uh, take care of business this year. I honestly feel we're going to be all right. I feel like, I feel like we're going to be all right. So it, it, it'll be a shocker. Like I said, we really don't know because we don't know really about the, the experience in the game. You know what I'm saying? It's always different. But like I said, I think I honestly feel we're going to be all right. Uh, Coach Brooks wouldn't have made the decision that he's making or doing what he's doing if he didn't believe things could happen. Since he's been in their shoes before, Randall Cobb could be a huge help in the huddle to either Fiddler or Newton. While there is a plan to expand the Wildcat package to have Cobb Throw the ball a little more. The sophomore is just fine being where he's at, out wide at receiver. There's a lot of things that goes through, uh, go, goes on as a quarterback, and it's a lot of things, a uh, uh, thinking process. Uh, it's a headache, really. I, I have a lot of respect for any quarterback that can play the game. And, um, I mean, I'm just going to do whatever the coaches ask me. If that's play quarterback, I'll play quarterback, receiver, receiver. It doesn't matter. Definitely that's going to be a big thing is keeping that composure because uh, it's going to be a lot of things going on. They, they might get a little, uh, start thinking a little bit too much, and I'll try to calm them down and tell them to keep their composure and just play the game. John Calipari has changed his mind. He now wants to make his first Big Blue Madness a spectacle for the fans. Of course, there will be an informal dunk contest. Cal says during the scrimmage, there will be a few guest coaches. Even though he didn't give up any names, he said one had Kentucky ties and the other is a nationally known performer who's a U.K. fan. Coach Cal told ESPN's Andy Katz, right now John Wall is a little further ahead in the process than his last two point guards, Derrick Rose and Tyreek Evans. Rose was the first pick in the 2008 NBA draft, while Evans went fourth overall in the 2009 draft. Another guard that's caught the attention of John Calipari is DeAndre Liggins, who struggled last year as a freshman. Coach Cal says Liggins is a driver and a slasher. He's not built for half-court ball. In a high post offense, where there's a guy standing there and there's a guy in the low post, where does a slasher go? Into his own man. Then he starts turning it over, he's out of control, he's running people over, and when he can't drive anymore, what's he start doing? Shooting jumpers. What if you can't shoot? Is that kind of, without me knowing, does that kind of what it looked like? Well, now you got an open court and you got this guy going in, he's looking good. Charges have been added to two Louisville basketball players after a fight over the weekend in a southern Indiana restaurant. Jerry Smith and Terrence Jennings were originally charged with resisting arrest but battery and disorderly conduct charges have been added against the players. Rick Pitino says the matter will be handled internally. Be sure to vote for our high school highlight reel game of the week. Tate's Creek versus GRC is out in front at the moment. To vote, just log on to our website at WTVQ.com.